Hey beautiful people, it's Rakita and I'm back with another video. So in this video, I really wanted to focus on six secure credit cards that's going to actually graduate. Some people don't understand if your credit score is very, very low, you really need to get some credit cards and that's going to help you build your credit up. But if you guys are right out, right up, right out of a bankruptcy, it's going to be very hard to get credit cards. So you may have to get a secured one. But with secure cards, as long as you're doing good with them, you know, paying on time, um, and you're keeping your balance low sometimes, or you're paying a, a nice amount of your balance, they're going to graduate you to an unsecured credit card. So whatever your deposit is, they're going to give you back, give you that back, and give you a credit card just like one of their regular credit cards is going to graduate. So you're going to get that money back, but you still going to have an account with them and it's going to continue to build your credit. So I would rather people get these kind of credit cards is going to graduate than to get some of those cards that they're going to eventually get rid of, such as, you know, some people going to credit one and companies like that. It's going to give you an annual fee because these don't have annual fees and they're secure, but they're building your credit and they can graduate. So now that I got that out the way, let's go through all of the cards. If you have any more questions about secure credit cards, how they work, please just ask them. As long as you guys are a member, I'm I'm making sure that I give you guys very detailed information or I'll make you a whole video. So the first card I want to talk about is the Bank of America card. Now, this is a secure credit card. They don't necessarily pre-qualify you without a hard inquiry, which I don't like. Um, it is some other ones on the list that can pre-qualify you. That means tell you yes or no without just denying you and give you a hard inquiry. It's going to be a soft pull. Um, so this is one that I will put on the end, like out of one through six. I'll put this closer to the end. We have another um, two on here that's not going to pre-qualify you. So those are on the end too. <laughs> They're not my top ones, I would suggest. But I like that you guys can just come to the website and look at all the details. I don't want to go too detailed about this. I just want to talk about getting the deposit back. That's the biggest thing. And then how much you can put down. So you can put down um, a minimum deposit of $200 or $5,000 max. Uh, and then two, they said that they'll uh, periodically review your account. And once they keep reviewing your account, they say that you're doing good and your overall relationship with them is good. And plus other accounts that's on your credit reports too, don't get new negative accounts just in case they pull your credit. Then they'll go ahead and graduate to a, uh, graduate you to a um, unsecured card. You may qualify to get your deposit return basically. Now, they're saying not all customers will qualify, and that's just because people are not doing what they need to do with their credit card, to be honest. So that's one of them. Um, check this out. Let's put this on the end, though, because you can't pre-qualify for it, and that's a big thing. You don't want to get a lot of inquiries if you can help it. Now, this next one is the Capital One Secure Credit Card. Capital One actually got two secure credit cards, and let me actually go there now for its credit building. They got two of them. They got the Quicksilver and they got the Platinum. So I um, like either one of those. Understand that they Quicksilver, I believe. Let me double check, though, before I keep running my mouth. Obviously, they have an um, annual fee, but they actually don't have the annual fee. So that is a really good card. Seriously, because you guys are going to get one and a half percent cash back. And when I had that Quicksilver, I had that $39 annual fee. But y'all know how much rewards I got? Got back like one and a half percent cash back. That's good for people that only get like one percent cash back. Usually, a lot of these companies only give you one percent for all other ca all categories. But look, you're getting one and a half percent cash back. So I like this one. Um, I just hope that it will graduate. But definitely. Capital One, they don't have it on this screen, but they did talk about in about six months, they'll check to see if they're going to graduate you. I don't know how long for the Bank of America, are, but I know Capital One, they said they start checking around that six month mark. So definitely try these. They got the Quicksilver and the Platinum. So definitely I would call customer service. When I first got a credit card with them, I called customer service and asked them a billion questions because I, I wasn't educated on credit cards at the time. But you guys can do the same thing. Ask them questions. Hey, if, if this credit card going to graduate, make sure you call customer service and see what their new rules are because credit cards change. So you have two of them there. So you kind of got a bonus, but it's six different companies, should I say, instead of six different credit cards. Now, the next one is a Discover Secure card. Now, I really love Discover. Um, 
I love them because I love that they have no annual fee. You can pre-qualify for this one without a hard inquiry. Let me back my screen up so I know this seems like you're so close. You can pre-qualify -quali pre for this one without a hard inquiry. I really like that. Um, so that means they're going to tell you yes or no without the hard inquiry. And then they make it very, very obvious that after seven months, they're going to start checking your account. And the biggest thing with them is you don't have any new negative accounts, don't have new late payments, even with other companies. Like your overall credit has to be going up over these seven months. And don't forget, you got this credit card reporting. So your credit score should really be going up. It shouldn't be doing nothing else but going up since you got this card. As long as you're keeping that balance very, very low, um, definitely under 29%. Um, mandatory you should be fine your credit score should be going up but don't have new, new accounts and they'll graduate you now the next one is the in rewards this is navy federal secure credit card i guess they don't want to show, show let me refresh my screen for that but this is the navy federal secure i don't think it let me let's go to the next one because that one don't really want to load unless my internet okay maybe it's just my internet um, but the next one I'll talk about is the Citibank credit card. So Citibank have a secure card. Now this one, I know when they come down to city, they do not like, like bankruptcies on your credit reports. Like they don't like it. I have realized that like, even from like when I had my bankruptcy reported and I applied, they did not like that. But once the bankruptcy was removed, then they went ahead and approved it. Um, so I, they don't like bankruptcies. And they made it obvious in one of the video that I, videos that I did years ago is that, that they don't like bankruptcy. So if you have a bankruptcy reported, this one is not a pre-qualification. So you got to straight out apply for it. I would say like really avoid this if you can. Because they said that they don't like bankruptcy. But then they did say too, they didn't like bankruptcy that was so... I think the last two years, they made it very, very clear. Let me see if I can search my screen for bankruptcies. No, they don't They don't have it right here on this page. But I read right on their website previously how they felt about this. So if you guys have a bankruptcy, this is probably not going to be one you want to get. But this one can actually graduate, which is really good. So just make sure that you guys are keeping your... Uh, balance low. You can spend as much you want to, but I would say pay off majority of that every month. So as you can see, you need a higher limit and you're paying your bills and you're paying more than just a minimum. Make sure you guys are paying a statement balance on all credit cards. Um, the, pay, the statement balance um, on or before the due date. As long as you're doing that, you'll never get charged interest. Plus you should, uh, if you're keeping that habit, you should never too much have a big a large balance unless you're putting a lot of charges right back on that credit card but as long as you do what you need to do with any of these credit cards you guys they should graduate um but definitely call all the companies and ask what's their new thing in terms of how soon are they graduating now the last one not, well not we got not last one because we got in rewards still but another one is the td cash secure credit card now i like this one because you're going to get that one percent that uh one percent cash back you cannot technically pre-qualify for this but this one is one that's going to be able to graduate so you know this is further on the end you will they will like you to have more of a better credit um to get this credit card, even city, um, even in rewards, a lot of the credit cards, they're going to want to see, you know, you have a, a better credit score. That's why I would rather you pre-qualify for it. That way, if they want to turn you down, they turn you down right away without a hard inquiry. Like, don't play, you know. When you go and apply for these, when they turn you down, they're going to give you a hard inquiry. So try to focus more on like the Capital One Discover and Navy Federal first because all three pre-qualify without a hard inquiry and then come back to these. But still call and see what bureau they're going to pull. If they like bankruptcies, you know, still call and ask them a lot of questions about this. So they do say that as you, if you maintain your card and you keep it in good 
standing, you are eligible for it to graduate. But keep in mind that all accounts are not going to graduate. And then credit management across all of your credit cards and loans, including TD and others. You see how each of them kind of say certain things and you pick up and say, you know what, this is probably the rules for everybody. So as long as I keep my credit good from this point forward, continue deleting the accounts while I'm trying to build my credit, I should be good. You know, that's basically what it is and put all your credit cards on auto pay you should never have a problem um at all as long as you keep them on auto pay now i don't know what's going on with this navy federal but i don't think that we're going to be able to see this but i love 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 navy federal secure card um and i love it because you can put two hundred dollars down on it and then about six months is going to graduate to a two thousand dollar credit card just make sure if you got negative accounts or whatever's going on with your credit um you increasing your credit score okay that's the thing like keep in, uh, trying to increase your credit score keep your if you was to spend like you get the 200 dollars credit card if you was to max out your 200 dollars credit card pay it all the way off um pay your statement balance by the due date for sure but pay it down as much as you can because when they see that too plus you paying it off um you paying it off every month and you never lay your overall credit going up that's when they're gonna go ahead and graduate you so you can go from two hundred dollars to two thousand dollars i never seen anybody get less than two thousand dollars when they be federal so this one is good it's a good investment if you think about it so Definitely, I would suggest this is like number one. If you can get Navy Federal, get in there. Now they're saying after three months of having your card, they're going to check to see if you can qualify for an upgrade. I haven't heard anybody say three months they got an upgrade, but I know one thing about Navy Federal, the more products you have with them in terms of, hey, you got the checking account, savings account, you got direct deposit, all that good stuff, you may be able to graduate this sooner. But definitely everybody with any of these credit cards, if you had them, tell us what your experience was, how everything happened for you, because it's different for everybody. So if we know, then we'll know. But with this one, I usually see around that six month mark or after six billing cycles too. Sometimes they say six months, seven months. Um, Discover said that it is six months. So six billing cycles that's technically going to go on to the seven month, but I would say just wait after the six statements or start calling around a four fifth statement or whatever. I would say start calling as soon as possible after the three months, you know, but it's up to you. Definitely. Um, you can call them and see when they want to graduate you. If you having a problem with them graduating you for any of these credit cards, when you get your accounts, just make sure you do what you got to do and then call them, call them, call them and ask them when they're going to graduate you. But hopefully you guys get approved for one of these credit cards. If you guys have any questions, definitely let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.